Chris Sewell here, baseball card collector, investor, dealer. Uh, welcome everyone. Today we're going to count down the top 15 most valuable football rookie cards from the 1970s top sets. Uh, there's a good battle for number one as the top three spots are all very close. Uh, top sets only, no oddball stuff, and uh, using average recent sales in a PSA 8 to stay consistent. And real quick before we start, here are a couple honorable mentions, some some big names here who couldn't crack the top 15. Uh, but alright, we'll start it off with a bit of a surprise at number 15. Ray Guy and his 1974 Topps rookie. A Ray Guy is the only punter in the Hall of Fame. He retired with easily the most impressive punting career in history. Although uh, punting has advanced so far in recent years that his career yards per punt of 42.4 currently ranks him 78th all time. He made seven Pro Bowls and was named the punter on the NFL all-time team. Uh, a PSA 8 copy of his rookie goes for $97. Number 14 is Steve Largent, rookie card 1977 tops. Largent is a good example of how you can't compare numbers from different eras. As he retired as the all-time leader in career receptions and receiving yards, Today, he ranks 18th in yards and 30th in receptions, behind players who will probably never see the Hall of Fame. Uh, but again, that's a function of the different eras. As anyone who watched him knows, Largent was an all-time great. His rookie card currently goes for $123. Number 13 is a similar case in Tony Dorsett and his 1978 Topps rookie. Uh, Dorsett retired second behind only Walter Payton in rushing yards, and he was 5th in touchdowns. Today he's uh, dropped down those lists to 10th and 23rd. That's still pretty impressive considering the numbers that, that backs put up today. Uh, he won the Heisman Trophy, a Super Bowl, and was a 4-time Pro Bowler for Dallas. His rookie card can be had for $124. Number 12 is 1979 tops Earl Campbell. Uh, don't let his career totals fool you. Campbell's career was short, so he's, he's not high on any of the lists, but... His four-year stretch from 1978 to 1981 is as good a four-year stretch as any running back has ever had. Considered perhaps the most punishing runner of all time, a, for a former linebacker once said, uh, every time you hit Campbell, you lower your IQ. $131 will get you his rookie card today in a PSA 8. Number 11 is the owner of at least a couple of the most famous catches in NFL history, Lynn Swan and his 1975 Topps rookie poster-level highlight catches are what made Swan famous. As he won four Super Bowls with Pittsburgh. That's as many as any receiver in history, including the Super Bowl MVP in 1976. A decent growth in value on this card over the years. Just two years ago, a PSA 8 would run you about 80 bucks. Today, it's double that at $161. Number 10 is a tough high number from the 1972 top set, uh, Steve Spurrier rookie. Spurrier had a less than impressive career in the NFL, but later became one of the most successful college football coaches in history, overseeing the dominant 1990s Florida Gators uh, that won a national title in 1996. The 72 football high numbers are the rarest of any tops cards from the 70s, uh, and his rookie here comes with a price tag of $182. Number 9 is from 1973, a four-time Super Bowl winner in Franco Harris. Nine-time Pro Bowler, Harris retired third all-time in career rushing yards and still ranks 15th today. He was the key player in one of the most famous plays in NFL history, the Immaculate Reception in 1972. A Super Bowl MVP, a Rookie of the Year, and an NFL Man of the Year, Harris's rookie in a PSA 8 sells for $184. Number 8 is the Snake, Ken Stabler's 1973 Topps rookie. Stabler quarterbacked the Raiders to their first Super Bowl win in 1977, uh, won the league's MVP in 1974, and was elected to the Hall of Fame in 2016. He teamed with uh, stud receivers for the Raiders and Clint, uh, Cliff Branch, Fred Bolitnikoff, and Dave Casper to form a lethal passing attack throughout the 70s. $192 will get you a copy of his only rookie card here. Number seven, uh, perhaps the most surprising and one I did not see coming, uh, another high number from the 72 top set, John Gilliam. 
Gilliam had a solid career, four-time Pro Bowler and, and returned a kickoff uh, for the first touchdown in New Orleans Saints history. That was in 1967. But his card is valuable because of the high numbers and the pop report. For whatever reason, there are fewer Gilliams graded by PSA than almost any other card in the set. Uh, because of that, you, you would need $255 to uh, get a copy of a PSA 8. Number six is another 72 high number. Hall of Fame tackle Rayfield Wright. Uh, nicknamed the Big Cat, Wright played in five Super Bowls in his 13 seasons. Roger Staubach, who Wright blocked for throughout the, the 70s, said about Wright, uh, if he ever got beat, I don't remember it. His tough high number rookie here will cost you $300. Number five is an infamous player for obvious reasons, O.J. Simpson. Uh, just going to look at his on-field accomplishments here. Juice was the first player to reach 2,000 yards in a season and was essentially the best running back in football in the early to mid-70s. He was ranked as the seventh best running back of all time by a recent USA Today poll, uh, and he made the NFL's recent top 100 of all time list. That list includes 12 running backs. His 1970 Tops rookie currently sells for $436. And number four, a lot, a lot of cool nicknames on this list, and this uh, may be my favorite. Mean Joe Green and his 1971 Topps rookie. I uh, wonder if his friends just called him Mean. The Steelers' defense of the 70s that won four Super Bowls was absolutely stacked with stars and Hall of Famers, uh, and Green may have been the best of all. Mean Joe Green was considered a ferocious and intimidating player on the field, but he actually was known as an extremely nice guy off the field. Uh, if you want his rookie card in a PSA 8, you'll need to come up with $604. All right, as I mentioned, the top three are all pretty close. Number three is Captain Comeback Roger Staubach and his 1972 rookie. Uh, Staubach led the Cowboys to their first two Super Bowl wins. His career numbers aren't really there because he started his career late, uh, making his NFL debut at age 27 because of service in the Navy. Uh, known for his ability to extend the play with his legs, run around and make something out of nothing, Staubach retired with the highest ever passer rating uh, in history at the time of his retirement. You'll need over a grand to pick up his PSA 8 rookie, uh, $1,085 to be exact. Number two would be my pick for the most iconic 70s football card, 1976 tops Walter Payton rookie. Uh, Sweetness was ranked as the fifth best player in NFL history, second all-time amongst running backs. He retired with the most rushing yards in NFL history and still ranks number two today. Uh, great recent growth on this card. Less than a year ago, a PSA 8 would have cost you around $400. Today, it's nearly three times that at $1,131. Which means the number one spot goes to Terry Bradshaw and his 1971 Topps rookie. Uh, Bradshaw was the first quarterback to win four Super Bowls, going 4-0 uh, with the 1970s Steelers. Only Joe Montana and Tom Brady have as many. Uh, this card gets a boost being from the condition-sensitive 71 set, ma making it particularly tough to get in higher grade. Uh, nice long-term growth on this one as well. In 2014, the card would have run you less than 500 bucks, uh, but today it will, it will require $1,397. So that's it, the 15 most valuable football rookie cards from the 70s. Includes five running backs, four quarterbacks, three wide receivers, a defensive tackle, an offensive tackle, and a punter. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. Stay safe, be well, keep collecting, and all that good stuff. Thanks guys.